Hey everyone, I turn over 64 here, and today we're going to continue on with Let's Play Kanoa for the Nintendo Wii. Now, I did mention I was going to explain a bit more about why I'm doing this remake, so... Yeah, let's get into it while I do version 1-2. On, let's go! By the way, some of you may see this is complete ranting, but it does it does have a bit of effect into it, not just plain biased stuff. Anyway, now the reason why I'm doing this remake is because of the fact that this game that this remake has been poorly uh poorly judged in my opinion. Because like the fact that like I did check out a comparison video on this with the original version. I, the game seems like it's quite, quite fine with the uh, replay value of everything. I don't know why people have been comparing it so wrongly. Like, even the comments have been, like, all about just the graphical uh, sides of the game. Like, it's been mainly focused on, like, what, cutscenes of the game? Like, the gameplay is not the exact same, and, it's, and even the music plays the, are the exact same. They just, like, filtered it a bit so it, like, fit with the Wii. Anyway, like the English, like the one thing I can understand people complaining about are like the English, uh, it's like the English language and how the gameplay seems a bit easier in this version than the original. But, no. There's been some people complaining about the model differences. The model on the Wii version has been based off of, uh, Klonoa 2. For, you know, the Klonoa 2, uh, Lieutenant's Lunatia's Veil and PlayStation 2. But people like they even had they even brought back a skin from the original version of the game. That's like a clear dead. That's like a clear dead. Uh, like a dead giveaway. Oh, did I grab it? All right. Ow! Did not see you there. All right. I believe that, I'm not sure, but I think this is where we're gonna need to go in order to get the extra. Yep, there's a one egg right here. Can't fool me. I already got that. Oh, oh wait, this is not the part yet. We'll come back to that later. Come on, come on. There. Where I'm planning on going. Hello? Where I'm planning on going requires me to go up there first. Alright, come on, can I make it? You sweet, I made it. Come on, go, go, go. Gotcha. Alright. Ah. I normally don't need this, but it's like it's the it's ability that's been given to us. I might as well use it. So I think we're gonna have like up to 300 by the time this is over. So I already have like, if my math is correct, let's see. Yeah, I already hit 150, so I hit almost 100, like 90, like, okay, uh, like 98, so, okay, not, okay, cl clearly not 98, but somewhere around that. Alright, if, if I screw up, then you're gonna know why I'm gonna try killing myself after this. Alright. Now... If you're trying to go for a hundred percenting this, like I am, this may be a di bit difficult from the jump. Ah, ah, there we go. Of course, I clearly made that look like it was easy. There we go. Alright, so the rest of the 18 that I need are going to be in the next area. Anyway, that's all I was saying about more of my ranting and stuff, is that this game has been fairly, uh, has been unfairly judged by how the game looks instead of how the game plays out. I mean, like, the fact that the game was easier, I was expecting some people to complain about that. But, it was just people complaining about the feel for the game, on its looks. If there was something based on a more realistic judgment, then yeah, I'd probably give it, uh... By the way, these guys are named after, uh, named after the sound of an animal I hate so goddamn much. Oh yeah, another hint. If you see a symbol like this, don't enemy at it, then watch what happens. Anyway, I think there's only like two times you ever watch something like that happen. Like, there's been some actual physics put into this level. 
compared to what's been on the original version. Uh, I'll never understand people with their poor judgment in games all of a sudden. I like first Sonic. Okay, okay, maybe that's not the first thing. First this game, then Sonic Lost World. Both the three. Well, mainly just the Wii U version. The 3DS version had its re kind of had its reason for uh for its review because they were they were hitting on more specific spots in the game, and I did get all 300 uh 300 Dreamstones as of right now. Get away from me! Take that. I'm taking. I take like. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the silver medals? Yes, I'm gonna call them the silver medals, even though that's not what they're named. Just, just for a friend of mine. The silver medals give you only, uh... Give you only one extra chrono, where the gold medals give you extra three, and there's a chrono, uh... Yeah. Huh? Who's that? Yes, indeed. This is the songstress of feasts. Well done, Joker. Oh, it was my pleasure, Lord Gaddius. What's going on? It's that songstress that Baloo told us about. At last, the famous songstress. <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot allow you to save the world with your song of rebirth. There is no need for this world to be reborn. I shall imprison you in darkness and bring about the destruction of the world. <laughs> now, Joker, give me the pendant. My lord. Well, now, isn't this strange? It doesn't seem to be here anywhere. What? A pendant? Huh? What do you think they need that for? Hmm? Well, it would appear that we have mice. No matter. The feast is in my power now. Joker, I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, my lord. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Guess we don't have any choice. Right. Oh my, what have we here? It's just some little baby mice. Well, this won't do at all. Who are you people anyway? What have you done with the songstress Lafice? Oh dear. Children these days simply have no manners. Well, I guess I have no choice. I'm going to have to teach you two a rather hard lesson. Watch out for your backside! Now, why would you tell us his weak spot, basically? Yeah, this is our first boss in the game, Ringo Lingo. As, you pretty sh as I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this game, this game has some really easy bosses. Oh, I gotta wait for him to either do his attack or... Oh, he's gonna jump. Yeah, like I said, this game has some really easy bosses. Even like the supposed final boss is really easy. It has it has a multiple it has a couple of things you know you have to do, but it's still easy. Right. Ah, bam! Completed. And I didn't even get hit. Pendant. 
the song's just Lafice and a moon-shaped pendant. Let's go home and ask Grandpa about it. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like you two have gone and found something pretty impressive, haven't you? What do you mean, Grandpa? This here is the crest of the Moon Kingdom. What's the Moon Kingdom? Well, the Moon Kingdom's a place that's only heard of in legends. That guy in the tower, Baldo talked about it, remember? So, Grandpa, do you know if the Moon Kingdom really exists? Well, now, well, I suppose it might exist, but then again, it might not. But I'm more worried about this goddess fellow who kidnapped that girl. I don't like the sound of it. Whatever's going on, I expect it's more than we can handle. Listen, you two. I want you to go and tell all of this to the chiefess of Forlock Forest. Come on, let's go, Klonoa. Right. Alright, so after that cutscene, we say 12 out of the 12 current, uh, Phantom Millions, and we've gotten 100, oh, 300 out of 300 Dreamstones as of right now. So, in the next part, we'll take care of a new vision and a new level. So, this is Actorno 64 signing out. Oh my god, I love these Dreamstones. <laughs>